Pinto beans, garbanzo beans, beans that kids should never have to eat beans. Mom, can we buy corn instead? <laughs> oh, I don't think I've ever seen a cuter child. He should be in the movies. He is a handsome one. I think I'll keep him. <coughs> Mom! Uh, yes, Olivia? Can we buy corn instead of beans? Uh, of course. Pick out a can. Olivia, what should we do? This one has a toy race car inside, but the cereal's got those gross marshmallow things we don't like. And this one has a toy zebra, but the cereal gets too soggy. Keep looking, Ian. There's got to be something better. You're right. Mom, what's creamed corn? Oh, do 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 do. Isn't he darling? Oh, thank you. Mom. Yes, Olivia. What's creamed corn? Uh, something that upset your father's stomach. Just get a can of regular corn. Look at those dimples. And that smile. Oh, and what a nose. You must be one happy mother. <sighs> Okay, what's better? Chocolate oat crunchies, even if it doesn't come with a toy. Just something called fiber. Or honey puffed rice with three stick on tattoos. Ian, I can't think about cereal right now. I've decided I'm going to be a mommy. And I've got a lot to do. Who's mommy's pretty baby? Hello, Olivia. Hello, is there any mail for me? Or my baby, little Olivia? Oh my goodness, what an adorable baby you have, Olivia. Yes, he is cute. I think I'll keep him. Bye, little Olivia. Hi, Mrs. Hoggenmuller. I might be late for school tomorrow. I have a baby now. Oh, isn't he a vision of loveliness? Thank you. Gucci, Gucci, go! Wow, look at that precious wet nose! He got that from his father's side of the family. Uh. He got that from his father's side, too. Excuse me, Mrs. Hagenmuller, but it's his nap time. Take that one. I think I'll have another. Wait here, Edwin. What would Mommy's favorite babies like to do today? That's a great idea, little Olivia. We'll go to the park. Little Olivia? Oh, hello, Francine. I didn't see you there. I was talking to my babies, Little Olivia and Little Olivia, too. They're such a handful. Can I see? Oh my gosh, they're so cute! Would you like to be a mommy, too? Of course I would. Here, Gwendolyn! Olivia, meet Franny, my baby. Hello, Franny. How are you? She's a little fussy today. Maybe she needs a nap. It's not her nap time. I always put her down for a nap at the same time every day. But what if she's tired now? I think I know how to be a mother, Olivia. Oh! Oh, wait! Little Olivia, too! Get back in the carriage! What kind of a mommy are you? Your babies are causing trouble! They are not causing trouble. They're just getting their exercise. Gwendolyn! I... I mean, Franny! Come back to Mommy! Uh, 
I'm sorry to say this, Francine, but I think it would be best if Franny didn't play with my babies anymore. Uh. No, little Olivia, too. This bottle is for little Olivia. You've had yours. Maybe you need to be burped. Oh, no. Am I gonna have to separate you two? Sorry I can't come over, Julian. I just put my babies down for a nap. This is the first chance I've had to color all day. I'll call you later when the kids are up. Olivia, can you do me a favor? Shh, Mommy. I just got them to sleep. <gasps> oh, can I leave you in charge of William for a few minutes while I make an important phone call? You want me to be William's mommy too? <laughs> Well, I just want you to keep an eye on him for a few minutes. Do you think you can do that? Of course. I've got lots of experience being a mommy. Now I'll be in my office if you need me. Phew. William, do you mind if I call you little Olivia 3? How would you like to help mommy color? That's very good, little Olivia 3. I'm gonna get you out of here. <gasps> Ian, you woke up my babies! <laughs> Rule of life number 21. <laughs> Little brothers don't know anything about being a mommy. You kids get back to bed this instant. <laughs> Thank you, Olivia. Looks like you did an excellent job. Whoa. I'm glad you're back. Being a mommy is a lot of work. I think I'll wait until I'm old like you. <laughs> and I'm sure when you do become a mommy, you'll be mother of the year. Well, that's all for tonight, Olivia. I can't have one more? No, I've read three already. I always read a hundred books to my babies before they go to sleep. Well, they must be very lucky babies. They are. Are you sure you can't read another book? I'm positive. Now, we need to save some for tomorrow. Sweet dreams, Olivia. making veggie loaf. It's my favorite food in the whole world. Well, since it's your favorite, would you mind shaping it into a loaf on that pan for me? Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Oh, how are you? Rule of life number 24. Just because it's called a veggie loaf doesn't mean it can't be something more exciting. 
Like a veggie castle. Why does the veggie loaf look like a spiny toad? Well, that should be fine. I'll get back to you tomorrow. Goodbye. That was Francine's mom. She just hired me to plan Francine's birthday party. Really? Mom, you have the coolest job ever. And since Francine's my second best friend, I have all kinds of great ideas for her party. I better go work on them right now. Mom, can I show you something? Sure, honey, what's up? Presenting my ideas for Francine's birthday party. First, the entertainment. Behold, Elephantina, the Elephant Queen of Asia. Francine, since it's your birthday, you get the first ride. This is the best birthday surprise ever! Woohoo! Honey? I don't think Francine's parents would like an elephant in their backyard. That's okay. I have lots more ideas. Behold... The Tasty Tower of Cupcakes. Francine, since it's your birthday, I will personally get you the pink cupcake from the tippy top of the tower. Pink is my favorite cupcake flavor. I know. I don't think so, sweetie. Then how about three monkeys playing the kazoo? Or train polar bears who could sing happy birthday? Honey, I appreciate your help, but I really need to figure out what would make this a special birthday party for Francine. Now, what does Francine like best? Oh, the same things as me. Um, ballet, singing, soccer, uh, pony rides. <laughs> Olivia. Well, she likes some of the same things as me. Like, uh... Hmm. Planning a party is hard, isn't it? Olivia, hurry! It's time for the Kiki the Kangaroo show. Oh, yeah. Francine really, really, really likes Kiki the Kangaroo, too. Bye. Hmm. Kiki the Kangaroo. Delivery. Sign here. Thank you. It's for you, hon. That looks like Kiki the Kangaroo. That's right. It's a costume. It's for Francine's birthday. Kiki is coming to Francine's party? And now, I'd like to introduce a very special guest on my show, Olivia. Hi there, Olivia. Hi, Kiki. I'm so excited to be on your show. When I was little, I used to watch your show, Kiki, and dream of the day I would be a guest. And here you are. So what are you going to do for us today? I'm going to sing my version of your theme song while my good friend Francine plays piano. Take it away, girls. Hopping all around the town, the fun never ends. He's Kiki the kangaroo, he's looking for a friend, and that friend is surely. Okay, here we go. It's a little small, but I suppose I could squeeze myself into it. Honey, no. You don't have to be kicky. Now, Olivia, you really have to keep this a secret. You wouldn't want to ruin Francine's birthday surprise. I know it can be hard to keep a secret when you're six and three quarters years old. I can do it. I promise. I'm so glad you can all come to my birthday party. I heard my mother talking to Olivia's mother, who is planning the party, and there's going to be a huge, fantastic surprise. It's true. So, I was thinking the surprise could be ice skating, or pony rides, or a jumpy tent, or there could be fairy tale costumes, a magic show, or clowns. That sounds amazing. We love clowns. Clowns? That's not a huge, fantastic surprise. <gasps> so, what is it? You can tell us? Um, I can tell you what color the decorations are. Purple and pink. And there's going to be strawberry punch. We love strawberry punch. Not as much as clowns. But what about the surprise? Francine, I'm sorry. I can't tell. But you're going to really like it. I promise. 
Okay, I've done the goodie bags, the decorations are up, the cake is on its way. William, your mommy is quite a party planner. <laughs> well, thank you. Honey, where are your party ribbons? I'm not sure if Francine even wants me to come to her party anymore, since I wouldn't tell her the surprise. Oh, honey, she'll be so excited when she sees Kiki. She'll be glad you didn't ruin the surprise. Really? Really. In that case, I think I'll wear my favorite red dress. Coming through, coming through. Perfect, but I'd better hurry. I have to get over to the party, so when Kiki comes by, please tell him to change into the costume and come right over to the party. <laughs> Dad, Harry keeps chewing my favorite ball. That's because it's his favorite ball too, Anne. But how can I make him stop? How do I look? You can't. Very nice. Come on, little fella. Hello. Hi, I'm Kiki the Kangaroo. I think you have my costume here? Almost there. Ow, ow. Where did that tail come from? Oh, here we go. Oh. They don't make these costumes like they used to. There. Easy as pie. Call it a hunch, but I don't think this is going to work out. You're telling me this costume's so tight I can hardly breathe. But what about Francine's party? She's waiting for a huge, fantastic surprise. I promise. Well, unless there's a short little person who knows all of my song and dance routines, your friend is out of luck. I know just the person who can do it. This is weird. Olivia would never miss a party. Maybe your family went on a trip. Harold, her mom is right over there. Maybe it was a short trip. Hmm. It's a very nice party, but... Is my surprise coming soon? He, uh, um, it should be here any minute now. I hope. Hello, everyone. <gasps> wow. I'm Kiki the Kangaroo. Happy birthday, Francine. Would you like to sing a song with me? Me? Sing with you? Yes! Hmm, there's something familiar about that voice. And hop to the right, jump three times with all your might. Spin around and wiggle, and do the kangaroo birthday dance. Yeah! Kiki, wait. I have to go get my friend Olivia. She has to meet you. Nice work, Kiki. Thanks, Ma. I mean, thanks, Olivia's mother. Kiki was right here. I can't believe Olivia kept that a secret. Me neither. Olivia's not at home. Olivia! You missed the best surprise ever! You mean Kiki? Oh, I just saw him. He had to go to another birthday party. But he told me to give this to you. He also told me that you're an excellent singer and dancer. Kiki said that? About me? This is the best birthday ever! <laughs> See, Dad? It's a half hop, half bounce. I don't know if I will ever need to know how to hop or bounce like Kiki the kangaroo, but in case I do, like this, <laughs> hop to the left and hop to the right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, that was my plan. I'll stay in bed, my plucky little roo. Good night. Good night, Dad. Then the princess ate the witch's enchanted pineapple and fell into a deep sleep. Oh, brother. What's the name of that book? The Enchanted Pineapple Princess. Why do you always read books about princesses? Why do you always read books about dinosaurs? Because dinosaurs are cool. Well, what did the witch do after the princess fell asleep? I was about to find out. I can't listen anymore. Would you mind bringing back my books when you go to the library? Of course not. All of our books are due back today. Do back? But I haven't finished this one. I can't give it back before I finish it. I'll never know if the princess woke up. Well, let's see. We'll leave in five minutes, so you have five minutes here to read. 
Then we'll drive to the library, which gives you another 12 minutes in the car. Think you can do it? I'll try. Do I have to go to the library, too? Come on, it'll be fun. I'll help you pick out a good book, Ian. No, thank you. I'll pick out my own. Uh, I know. Dad, if a stegosaurus and a triceratops got into a fight, who would win? Oh, let me think about that a minute. Ian, please be quiet so I can finish my book. Julian and Francine and Daisy all have read The Enchanted Pineapple Princess already, and everyone is going to tell me the ending at school on Monday. So why bother reading it if they're going to tell you how it ends? Because that wouldn't be as fun. So can you please be quiet so I can finish? So then the princess ate the witch's enchanted pineapple and fell into a deep sleep. The witch knew she could trick the prince. Rule of life number eight. Even when little brothers are being quiet, they can still find a way to bother you. We're here. But I'm not finished yet. Well, why don't we renew your book for another week? That will give you the rest of the weekend to finish. Thanks, Dad. That's a great idea. Hold on to the book you want to renew, Olivia, and put the rest in the slot, OK? Let me. Want to put these in too, Ian? Yeah. Once upon a time. Look, Dad, it's story time. Can we go listen to the story? Sure. I'm going to look for a book on the three-winged grasshopper. Come on, Ian. Dinosaur Princess knew the entire kingdom had come to depend on her. She knew that she had to go out into the forest and find the wizard who had turned her into a dinosaur. Did he just say Dinosaur Princess? Shh! Yes! Why would anyone ruin a perfectly good dinosaur story? Shh! But what she didn't expect was that there were fairies who wanted the princess to stay a dinosaur. Who are you? I am the fairy queen of the forest. I'm looking for the wizard. Can you help me find him? The wizard really doesn't like to be disturbed. But I need him to turn me back into a girl. I don't like being a dinosaur. Please bring me to him. I would, but you see, I promised him I'd let him take a nap. Then what about after his nap? Here's the wizard now. I guess he didn't want that nap after all. Oh, wizard, please turn me back into a girl. Uh-uh. The kingdom is safer with a dinosaur princess to protect it. I demand you turn me back into a girl this instant. If you don't, I'll be forced to eat you all. Hey, what did I do? Oh, all right. Finally. Thank you. And they lived happily ever after. The end. I'm going to be over in the real dinosaur section. That was almost the best story I've ever heard. You think so? Yeah. It's almost as good as the Enchanted Pineapple Princess. I don't think I've seen that one. I'll show you. <gasps> Excuse me, I have to take care of something. Book either. <gasps> Can I help you? I'm looking for my book. I left it over there. This whole room is full of books. Could you be more specific? It's red. Well, that narrows it down to a few hundred. It's called The Enchanted Pineapple Princess. Hmm, let's see. <laughs> yes, here it is. It looks like it was checked in just a few minutes ago. It's being returned to the shelves as we speak. Can I check it back out again? 
Yes, you'll just have to get it before someone else does. You'd better hurry. That book has been quite popular. According to this, it has been read by Julian, Francine, Daisy. I know, that's the problem. It's probably on one of those library carts right now, waiting to be shelved. I have to get it. Not here. <laughs> oh, hi, Olivia. Uh, hi, Dad. Have you seen my book? No, but listen to this. The adult three-winged grasshoppers fly in swarms of more than one million and can travel up to a hundred miles a day. Ugh, who doesn't love a library? I would give anything to have a T-Rex as a pet. Ian, how would you like to help me on a really important, exciting adventure? Are we going dinosaur hunting? Even better. Are you in? Okay. Follow me. We're going to search this entire place and find my Enchanted Pineapple Princess book. That's the exciting adventure? I see it! Come on! I thought I saw that lady put your book in here. Julian? Olivia? What are you doing here? Just looking for books. Why are you in the bookshelf? I'm not. I'm on the other side. Julian, I need your help finding the Enchanted Pineapple Princess book. It got turned back in before I had a chance to finish reading it. I can tell you how it ends. That's what I said. There it is! Come on! On your mark, get set, go! We have to catch that book cart! Hurry, Olivia! Don't worry, I'll catch up! I'm sorry. You can't have this book. But I've been looking all over for it. It accidentally got turned back in before I finished it. I'm about to read it for story hour. How about you have a seat and listen to how the story ends? Ah, uh, kids, would you mind if we stayed a little while longer? I can't decide whether I want the grasshopper book or this one about albino salamanders. We'll be right here, Dad. Once upon a time, in the kingdom of the pineapples, there lived a beautiful princess. But what the witch didn't know was that the princess's little brother had been watching her all along and knew of her wicked plot. The witch was no match for the little brother, and so the princess awoke from her deep sleep. The end. Can we read it again? How many times can you hear the story in one day? Maybe a million? Why don't we save it for tomorrow? It's time for sleep. Good night, Olivia. Good night, Mom. <laughs>